Oh, we will certainly follow that journey. What a brave girl. Now, new ways of treating cancers are coming along all the time, giving hope where none previously existed. One of those is a process called HIPEC, where chemo drugs are heated and then applied directly to the affected area. This is Beatrice Kelly's story. Two years ago now, um, I found blood in the toilet bowl. So I had a colonoscopy and it turned out that there was quite a large tumour quite close to my rectum. So in April 2021, I had what's called an anterior resection where they removed a bit of my bowel. That surgery was followed by chemotherapy. However, early last year, Beatrice began to feel unwell again. I went for a scan and it turned out that I had tumours on my ovaries. So I had a full hysterectomy. Beatrice continued to have scans. They revealed her bowel cancer had spread further. Today she's back in the matter for more surgery. There is a likelihood I will have part of my bowel, possibly small intestine, removed. So, you know, that'll be a bit of getting used to it. As well as her surgery, Beatrice will also have her abdomen pumped with a highly concentrated dose of heated chemotherapy. It's a daunting idea, but for me, this is a really important treatment for managing the cancer that I have. So I'm really glad that it's going ahead, as it were, although I'm very scared as well. Before he begins, surgeon Jürgen Mulsau carefully assesses the extent of Beatrice's tumours. There is quite a large volume of tumour, but we think we can clear it. So we're trying to prolong her survival with this cancer. Aiming for cure, but probably knowing that that's a long shot. So this deposit is very obvious. This large white golf ball, if you like. Other deposits are smaller. There's coating of tumour on the lining of the pelvic cavity and on the front of the large intestine as it descends into the pelvis. We can clear them, but it is more than we would like. We may have to remove all of the large intestine. We'll judge it as we go. If that is the case, then we will have to consider a stoma, which is where the bowel is brought to the surface of the abdominal wall and empties out through an opening. After working on the tumours for several hours, Jürgen makes the decision to remove all of Beatrice's large intestine. With all visible tumours removed, Beatrice is treated with HIPEC, pumping that powerful dose of heated chemotherapy around her abdomen. There are tumour cells that may be nestling in the, in the abdomen that we can't see. So the chemotherapy is delivered into the abdominal cavity. We hope to kill cells that we can't see. And it's heated because that increases the penetration of the treatment and also the toxicity to cancer cells. Three weeks after surgery, Beatrice is back home in Kilkenny. I feel much better than I had expected to. I mean, I feel physically stronger than I thought I would be at this stage. And I also feel mentally more sort of uh, robust than possibly I, I had expected as well. I have a stoma and I'm getting used to that, but you know, we'll get there. Even her tone is upbeat now, isn't it? With me now is Jürgen Mulso, consultant here at the Matter Hospital and the man who performed that surgery. Jürgen, quite incredible stuff you're doing in this very building here. What is HIPEC, first of all? What does it stand for and what does it do? Okay, well, HIPEC is heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy and it's a form of treatment that we use for selected patients who have an advanced form of cancer that is spread to the lining of their abdominal cavity. It's called the peritoneum. So these might be patients with bowel cancer, appendix cancer, selected patients with ovarian cancer, for whom in the past treatment options might have been somewhat limited and we're trying to treat them to improve their outcome, to improve their quality of life, and some even aiming for cure. And why is it so effective? Is it the temperature that you're heating it up to? So it's a high concentration of chemotherapy. It's delivered directly into the abdominal cavity. It's in direct contact with cancer cells. Uh, and also the temperature, it increases the penetration of the, of the chemotherapy, but also the toxicity of the chemotherapy to the cancer cells. Okay, and we saw you perform this in the, in the film with Beatrice, so brave to share her story today, with surgery. Does it always happen combined with surgery? 
So I agree with you. Beatrice has been amazing in all of this, but yes, it is always combined with surgery. You would never give Hypec alone. It's always as an adjunct to an operation. So the surgery takes up most of the time, and that might be five or six hours of surgery to remove any cancer deposits we can see within the abdominal cavity. And when we've done that, and we've taken away everything we can see, we give chemotherapy into the abdomen at the end because we presume there are cancer cells that we can't see and we want to eradicate those cells to stop them implanting, to stop them growing and causing problems in the future. Okay, and unlike other traditional treatments that we're all you know, familiar with hearing, uh, unfortunately, family members and loved ones going through radiotherapy or chemotherapy, this is a one-off procedure, a treatment, is it? This is a one-off treatment. It's, it's, it's part of the approach we have to patients who have, an, have advanced cancers. This is a one-off treatment which we tailor for a specific time in their treatment uh, course. Uh, and yes, it's a one-off. Okay. Jürgen, you're doing incredible work. Thank you for joining us uh, this evening and for explaining it to us as well. And thank you indeed to Beatrice for allowing us to tell her story. So important. Now, clinical trials are a big part of the cancer picture, but they're often expensive and indeed hard to access here in Ireland. That may be about to change. Austin Duffy, tell us all about the START programme. Hi, Anna. Thanks for having me. Um, so the START programme, which we're hoping to open here at the Matter Hospital in the over the next couple of months, is basically a phase one clinical trial programme. And what a phase one clinical trial is, um, is a, a clinical trial where uh, new drugs, recently developed drugs, actually get given to patients for pretty much the same time, at the, for the first time. Uh, we're actually trying to figure out, you know, um, uh, whether the drug works, mm -hmm. how it works, and also discover about the side effects and how well it's tolerated, in the hope that that drug will then go on and be a successful drug and really help people um, and become an established uh, drug. Because in order for, for a drug to become, you know, a drug that people can prescribe uh, in the standard of care situation, the jur it has to, that journey has to begin somewhere. And of it begins in a, at a phase one uh, clinical trial. And we often hear of people on clinical trials, but there is no dedicated centre of excellence for it. Is that what this is going to be here at the Matter? So that's correct. Um, there are a lot of clinical trials being done in Ireland and a lot of wonderful clinical trials being done around the country and some great people working on them. What's unique about Start Dublin is that it really focuses on a particular space called the Phase 1 uh, clinical trial uh, space. And this is very early on clinical trials. You know, yes. th this involves... Uh, drugs which have only recently really been invented or dis developed in the laboratory and you're really trying to get uh, get those drugs into the into patients and and so that they'll go on and hopefully become successful uh, drugs and we're very lucky with this opportunity because you know this is very intensive work it requires a lot of you know monitoring and and a real high level of expertise and that's why it's important that it be concentrated in one area and we're very lucky to be partnering with a group called Start, um, who are an American group and um, who are really one of the world leaders in this particular area. So, and so how it's a real accessible will this be, Austin, for viewers tuning in tonight? You know, mm. will they be referred to by their doctor or how will it work? Yes, so basically um, the, the sort of patients for whom this will hopefully benefit um, or at least provide an opportunity are those folks with, with cancer and who've been treated with, um, you know, multiple, several lines of, of treatment, but they're well and fish and and uh, they they hear about the science that's happening out there and there's a lot of scientific development um, in terms of developing drugs and new technologies and um, they, these, these, these technologies unfortunately are difficult to access in Ireland at the moment. Absolutely. You know, People often have to travel overseas. Mm -hmm. well, um, I worked in America for many years and I used to be on the other end of the emails you know, of, of people who wanted to access these new drugs and technologies and um, you know, the only way to do so was really to uproot their lives. And leave and, their loved ones yeah, at such a and, precious and time in their exactly, life as well. Exactly, and it's, it's such a difficult scenario. So we really should be able to offer such a such an opportun opportunity, if I could put it like that, yeah. for um, uh, for patients to access these new and unproven uh, experimental treatments, but here, in, in uh, closer to home, where you know where they, where they don't have to uproot their lives to, this, to the same Brilliant. extent. It gives get, us great hope, I think, and it's, it's part of the future, ultimately, isn't Absolutely. It? Brilliant, I, Austin. I, I we wish so. you well with it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for much. joining, joining us this evening.